Hard Rockology show, booze o'clock time there with Van Halen running with the devil. That's from their 1978 debut record. I want to thank Paul Mahone from The Answer for requesting that song. And Matt, the party is officially started, right? Are the mountains blue? Mountains are blue. All right. That sounds like you're on your fourth one. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, what? What? How many beers has he had today, Jason? Already? I don't. I'm not counting. Yeah, yeah, take, yeah, man. Yeah, running with the devil. I got an app He's on my. Running with the devil. Yeah, you're running with the devil right now. Oh God, I'm running. Ah, yeah. yeah. What does that mean anyway? Does I'm the not, devil run? He's got I don't hooves. Know. Jason's the big Van Halen fan. He maybe he can tell us. Yeah, yeah. Does the devil? Does the running with the devil have hooves? Not on the devil's side. Are you for real? So you're not maybe. really. The devil's not really with He's you. He's running. He's rolling with the devil. He's down with the devil. They're run, running with the devil. Or is it just a song about like doing everything that the devil represents, which is partying, having a great time, sex, drugs, and rock and roll? There you go. All yeah. right. It's a perfect song for Booze O'Clock. All right. Thanks, Paul. Well, I can think of a better Van Halen song for Booze O'Clock. Which would be? Take Your Whiskey Home. And that is from what album? For our Hard Rockology Elite. That's Matt's elite. department. Yeah, that's Wait Matt's. a second. No, Take Your Whiskey Home. Would that really be a booze? Because you're actually a guy going home. Is there a party at your house? Or are you just going home to drink your whiskey? I mean, there's not by much yourself. of a party. Yeah, by yourself. Is there much of a party there? I mean, if you're going out to party, you're not playing Take Your Whiskey Home. Are you? Yeah! I don't know. I think it's Don't Take Your Whiskey Home. All right. Well, if it's Don't Take Your Whiskey Home, that's a whole other thing. Yeah! I think it is Don't Take Your Whiskey Home. Is but I'm not sure what the title is. All right, it doesn't matter. We don't. We don't. We're not perfectionists here on the Hard Rock okay, College good. Show. So people will. People, Van Halen fans will know the song. Yeah! yeah, I'm sure we'll get like messages. Dude, don't bring your bottle <laughs> whiskey home, man. Don't your Van Halen. It's sacrilege. Yeah, there's gonna be trouble if you take the whiskey home. That's the premise of the song. Yeah, has it ever been a good thing taking whiskey home? No. So what? Jason, did you buy the uh, first Van Halen album when it first came out? Well, I was pretty young then, so I think I listened to it through friends and things. I didn't really buy it right away. But were you, like, uh, amazed by uh, Running With The Devil like we all were? Because, like, if you think about it, 1978, disco was in full force. I mean, hard rock music was pretty much a, a dying breed, right? You had a lot of bands from the 70s trying to make it to the 80s. And then all of a sudden, here comes this band called Van Halen with this brilliant guitar player. And then, like you mentioned off air, you were talking about Eruption, right? Well, yeah, because here it was. I was listening to, like, The Cars and Foreigner. And then I went to our friend's house, and they put on Eruption. <laughs> it, like, blew my mind. You know, because it was so unlike the other things at the time. Yeah, I mean, it really wasn't, like, a, a hard rock band that was, like, making a name for themselves. Maybe you could say ACDC, but I think ACDC maybe the next year on the coattails of what Van Halen did the previous year with Highway to Hell. I would, would you agree, Matt? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right, sounds like Matt's had way too many beers. Yeah, I'm talking Van Halen. Man. I, I, I he... love Van Halen, but I have a problem with Van Halen, so let's just leave what? it at that. Does it have to do with the singer, Matt? Yeah, it's the clown front man. Like, you don't like the clown get... front man? No, I can't get past the clown front man. So you're I'm not sorry. a big fan of clown front men no. in, in hard rock heavy metal bands? No. God damn it, baby, no, I ain't lying to you. I'm only going to tell you one time. Ah! So David Lee Roth is on your number can you, one. Can you think of any other clown front men that you don't really care for? Not right now, I can't. He's just like that one guy. That for whatever reason, I just can't get past <laughs> David Lee Roth. So would you say, like, another guy comes to mind, I don't know if he's a clown or not, but what about Udo Dirk Schneider from Accept? Can you get past him? Yeah, I can, Wearing get, the I can get past him. I just, I just look over his head. Okay, so you wouldn't consider him a clown front man, even though I wouldn't either. But I mean, with the camouflage fatigues on, everybody else is wearing the attire for the '80s, and he's got these. No, camouflage that, that, that's fatigues. not that's not what I'm talking about. I okay. mean, it's just, you just don't want some guy. It's a stage persona he has, and just his vocals sometimes. And it just I just feel like I'm watching a cabernet cabernet no. was a cabaret show. What about Poison, Brett Michaels? No, even Poison with Brett Michaels wasn't wasn't a clown front man. I mean, it's just I don't know. It's it's just like that. I don't know. If you got a clown from it and you want to let us know about, please send us an email to hardrockology at ymail so, com, and we'll have we'll we'll send this email to Matt so we can look at all the clown frontmen and see if he say if you made the list or yeah, not. Yeah. Yay! So I see that I don't listen to the clown. I mean, I'm, I'm, 
I hear that music, and I like the music. Well, the music's great. I love the music. But he's and, and, by the visual. <laughs> I, I mean, and, and there's some great songs in there. He wrote some great, great lyrics with some of the songs that were on those albums. I'm not going to argue that. It's just, after a while, his vocal style, the way he sang, and it's just this whole stage persona, I, I just couldn't get It was too much for me. So MTV really, like, did you lane for Van Halen? Yeah. Right? Because before that, there was no videos of really of Van Halen except them playing live in concert, and all of a sudden MTV comes. He was around. he was the first singer that was started to scream into the video camera and stuff, and getting a super <laughs> close face up on the singer. And I don't need to see that shit, man. The bandanas. Yeah, I mean, I don't need him go whoa, staring into the camera and shit. I just don't need that, man. So would you say Steven Tyler and Aerosmith's a yeah, Steven Tyler? Him? Yeah, he got into it a little bit too after a while. So he I got in the clown car. Yeah, he got into the clown car oh, with no. David Lee Roth. <laughs> so I mean, I, yeah, I guess yeah. So what other singer is going to come pouring out of that clown car? Man? So we got Stephen Tyler's in there with David Lee Roth. Yeah, okay, so the so two of those guys are in there. Brett Michaels got the door shut on him. Yeah, Brett Michaels isn't in there yet. He's not. What about what about Vince Neil from Molly Crew? Is he in the clown car? No, he's not in the clown car. He's mm-hmm. not. He's not quite there. So oh, so nobody in the uh, none of these eighties bands. Well, there's, I, I guess I'd have to see it, but yeah, Steven Tyler and David Lee Roth are definitely in the clown yeah! car. All right. All right. Well, we'll fill it up as yeah, time we'll, goes on. Yeah, we'll fill up the clown car. Yeah, and, and now, and now you've seen, now you've seen videos now, and, and, and people, like the singers, always have to get right in a freaking video, and, and like they're tilt their head. I, do, I doubt So you don't like that? No, I don't like it, man. I don't need to see you freaking showboating the camera, dude. Just sing your freaking song, and that's it, man. That's it. Well, see, that's the thing, Matt. What? These are musicians, and then they make them stand in front of a camera and all that stuff. Uh, you know. Yeah! Well, you know what? Music first, buddy. Yeah, music first. I don't need the showboating. That's that's it. I guess that's what it is. Yeah. I mean, even when we, go, we went to go see David Lee Roth when he came back with Van Halen more recently, e- even Eddie Van Halen kind of curtailed him a little bit. And says, you know what? Just go out there, sing the freaking songs, because it's all about me. Okay, so what if we what if we opened up the clown car to other musicians besides the singer? Would be would there be other musicians that could be in the clown car, like maybe a guitar player, like CC Deville would be in the clown car. Yeah, CC Deville would be in the clown car. <laughs> All right. Yeah, what CC about Deville's in there? I love Rudolph Schenker, but he'd probably have to be in the clown car too, right? Yeah, he'd be in the clown car. I love you, Rudolph, and but he's be, he's going to be in the clown car too, right? Yeah, he's in a clown car, but he he has no problem being in a clown car, so. You know, he's just going along for the ride. Okay. Um, you wouldn't put, well, Bruce Dickinson can't No, be, Bruce no, Dickinson, he's not in there. No. He's too angry. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so he's not in no there. No angry we'll, clowns. We'll, we'll, I'll, I'll look at all the bands and we'll see if we can fill this clown car up. How many people are in Oh, there's, there's plenty of freaking clown car drummers. So, I mean. <laughs> oh, you put some drummers in there. Okay. Yeah, like Mick Brown from Doc has got to be in there. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, you can, you can fill a car up with plenty of drummers, so. Tommy Lee, I'll even put Tommy Lee in there. Yeah, too. Tommy hey, Lee. I think I got another clown. Okay. What's that? Uh, Twisted Sister. Guy? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah Dee D- Schneider, he's in there too. D- Thank Schneider's you. In the clown Thank, car. Thanks for bringing that image too. So. You're welcome, man. Just trying to help out. <laughs> All right, so we got we got we got David Lee Roth in the car with Steven Tyler and and the uh, guy from Wasp will be in there too in the earlier videos. Okay, Blackie, Blackie Lawless, Lawless uh, he'll be in there too. Okay, and then we're going to keep it to singers right now, but we we are trying we are taking applications for other musicians yeah, like guitar players, bass players, and drummers, keyboard players. Yeah, mm-hmm. so, yeah. So now it's turning into a bus. <laughs> no, oh, no clown no, no, car. No. no, it's a They'll car. All okay. fit into the little yeah. car, Matt. <laughs> all right. As many as we can come up with. We've only got four, I think, so far. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of room left in that car. Right. Surprised. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to wrap up another edition of the Hard Rockology Show. I want to thank our guests, Tony West of Blacklist Union. Check out his brand new album, Till Death Do Us Part, and Bobby Brown. Her new book is called Dirty Rocker Boys. Definitely put it on your Christmas list. You can check out the Hard Rockology Show on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. And you can find all our past shows on Mixcloud. Also check out the Facebook page, Live from the Snoodio. That's a show me and Matt are working on. It's 16 minutes of music talk and ADD. If Matt that's your, and I. Yeah, Matt and I. Did I say What did I say? Me and Matt. Me and Matt? Yeah, it's Matt and I. Thank you, Jason. No problem. Jason's Matt. an English teacher. No. But it's good that you brought that up. Yeah. Yeah. 
me me and Matt. What the hell am I talking about? Matt I want to be grammatically correct yeah. here on the Hard Rock Holiday. Exactly. We sure do. Okay, so check out that Snoo show live from the studio. It's on right. YouTube. Like I said, it's 16 minutes of music talking, ADD. If that's your cup of tea, definitely tune in. And if you don't like it, you can get your 16 minutes back. For Matt and Jason, I'm Chris wishing you a rocking week. And let's get out of here with some Cinderella, The Last Mile.